Hello Puppet fans, and welcome to this lecture. In this section we will configure the EC2 instance for Puppet Master and will download the Puppet Enterprise installer in Puppet Master. To install the Puppet Enterprise version launch an EC2 instance from AWS console. Step 1, choose an Amazon Machine Image, AMI. Here I will choose a Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7.6, HVM, SSD volume type image ID. Next, step 2, choose an instance type. For a Puppet Master a hardware requirement is at a minimum, your Puppet Master server should have two processor cores and at least 1 GB of RAM. And to comfortably serve at least 1000 nodes. It should have 2 to 4 processor cores and at least 4 GB of RAM. For Puppet Enterprise smooth installation I will choose T2.large instance. Step 3. Configure instance details. Here specify the options as Number of instances. Network select or create new VPC. Subnet select or create new subnet. Auto assign public IP. Placement group, add instance to placement group, capacity reservation, I am role select or create a new role, shutdown behavior, enable termination protection, monitoring to enable CloudWatch detailed monitoring. Tenancy, elastic inference, T2 slash T3 unlimited and advanced user data, so here I will choose the default values. Next go to step 4 to add storage. Choose default value. Next step is step 5 to add tags. Here give a name to your EC2 instance. Next step is step 6 to configure security group. You can create a new security group or can select an existing security group. Make sure your IP is allowed for puppet installation. Here I will allow all the traffic as we are doing the testing in lab only. But for you just make sure ports are not open for the world to access. Next and final step is step 7 to review instance launch. So review all your settings and click on launch button to deploy the EC2 instance. You can access your Linux CC2 instance with SSH key pair, so select the option for an existing key pair or if you don't have the key pair, create one. Next click on launch instance and wait for the deploy to complete. Alright the instance is in initialization phase so wait for few more minutes to get it complete. Ok so the EC2 has been deployed successfully as you can see the status in AWS console. Now let's download the Puppet Enterprise version. So go to your Puppet download page and provide the basic information. Now select the Puppet version based on your OS architecture. Here I am using Red Hat 7, so I will choose the Puppet Enterprise for L7. You can download the installer on your system. Or you can download it directly to the node that will be your master. You can use wget command to download the installer so run command wget hyphen hyphen content disposition in the download URL path. If you don't have the wget package installed, install it first by running command yum install wget. After that retry to download the installer again. And list the installer file by running the ls command. Ok, so in this section we have configured the EC2 instance and download the Puppet Enterprise installer. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have time feel free to move on to next lecture to install the Puppet Enterprise.